So I started a reaction last time saying that the titles for the episodes were quite cryptic. This one isn't. This one is pretty um, out there, you know. Declaration of War. Uh, we're coming to a turn. I wasn't expecting the cut, the type of ending that we had last time, you know, with the credits rolling in and then the after credits scene. Uh, I'm not sure if there's been a hiatus between the last episode and this one uh, when it was released. I'll let you guys uh, fill me in on that eventually. But yeah, uh, we're coming to a big moment. Eren is here. He's going to be with Ryan after four years. What he's doing here, we're going to know. Is it going to be useful? Is it not going to be useful? Is it part of a bigger plan, a distraction? A Who knows? A trick. Um... Madeleines are, are definitely preparing for war. The war, Hammer Titan, is here with the Tiber family. Things are coming in. Things are coming in. Um, this is the final season. And we have a lot to wrap up. We have the war to wrap up. We have our character arcs to, start to wrap up. I'm crossing fingers that we're definitely going to get an ending to this whole adventure that's really satisfactory and not just... Mm. To me, a lot of the success of a series and the mysteries that they bring comes down to how they all tie up, to the finale, to the other characters. And as much as I'm excited to get to the... To the ending of Attack on Titan, I am also a bit nervous. Because wrapping up something as big isn't an easy thing to do. So yes, so we're gonna jump right in, we're gonna see what this episode is all about. Full length factions available on Patreon, link down below in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss a new video. Smash the thumb up. This is very much appreciated. Tell me down below in the comment section what you think of that episode, what you thought of the beginning of the final season. Was it that what you expected? Was it not? As you know, I'm not reading the comment section down below, but I'm definitely going to be reading all of it once I'm done catching up to you guys. You know, uh, I'm scheduled to uh, finish reacting on YouTube because it's going to be done on Patreon way before that, but on YouTube, uh, I'm sure it should be done uh, just by the time that the uh, season four part two is going to start uh, airing. So I will not have to wait as long as all of you guys have had, um, but this is going to be exciting and, and I can't wait for it. Links so much from the other time, but in the description box, that being said, let's jump right in. Let's go. This program contains graphic. Oh, well, it would be about time. <laughs> なんで首を車いに僕たちにあんな話をするんだろうってそう。ペンモノでセイム。マルセロを置いて逃げた私たちに何かやるわけないのにね。みんな、you <laughs> Safe friends. Uh, uh, is gonna have a mental breakdown. <laughs> He's known for these. <laughs> Let's go. Ah, no! <laughs> Not what I wanted to be. Oh, you can't transform there. You can't have a fight there. That would be bad. That's why you meet here. Oh. Ooh. Is he holding on to transforming? Oh. <laughs> Yeah, the danger here is Eren. <laughs> I suppose he's hurt, so he's maybe he's learned to control himself. Mr. Leonhardt. 
死んでねえよ。うん。は生きてる。帰ってくると。It's a mystery to me why we didn't give Annie's father a face before, and now we're just giving it plainly. There, they're around. Okay. That's where I want to be. <laughs> I don't, well, not physically, because it would be bad. Oh, calm down. Calm down. Uh, kind of a. Uh, <laughs> not already convinced. <laughs> <laughs> the drama. <laughs> Three times over. <laughs> the drama is a little too much. It's, it's screaming, uh. Propaganda a little too much. So, my question is how much of this is the truth or not? Ah, I got one explanation, but you won't like it. <laughs> Only the armored titan return. <laughs> Interesting story you're telling here. Yeah, that's what they believe they're doing. Oh, are they? Oh, they're gonna be taken by party people. Is it a fake one? Panzer. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's definitely meant to be a Nazi army. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah, think be it. They're taking the war to them. Yes! He's a clever guy. <laughs> Fake news! <laughs> oh, tell me. Ah, okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Okay, I, I'm, I'm wondering what is his endgame here. Are, are, are people gonna believe him or not? Are they gonna be like, you're a filthy alien? Although, moments ago they were all fantasizing about him. Because now maybe they will. Is it being genuine here or how is the military going to react? Does the military really know the sto the real story? What I like though is that the series is doing things you do not expect them to. Music. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh. Uh, it's a way to see it. What is it? Yeah. Uh, the resistance? Uh, uh, yeah, and now they're gonna be the bad guys. Did it literally mean several colossal titans? But how? It's all just people wanting to do what's best for them. I did too, Eren, I did too. 
Because she was your father's wife! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, they're all victim of a lie. It's... I I'm waiting the end of the episode to make up my mind. Yeah, then you came and you saw it was everyday people. And they're all victims of the same lie. They were fighting for something they didn't know was a lie. Mm. Yeah. You were the same age. Hey. It has been eating at his mind. Interesting. I'm really enjoying this. Mm -hmm. I am still afraid there might be there will be something more. This is not the same basement. Ah. Ah. Surprise! <laughs> that's that's an epic theater performance. <laughs> oh, is he gonna eat you? No, oh, you're dead. Oh, you're dead. Ah. Uh, wow. For a moment, I thought that Eren had grown. No. <laughs> Who are we kidding, Jaren Yaga? Um, revenge, not revenge. What would she do, really, if she learned that the people who have been persecuting you have been doing so because they have been lied to themselves in the first place? What if you learned that... Let's tread carefully with this. But because this is clearly uh, kind of the parallel that Attack on Titan does by themselves, you know. Uh, during World War II... No, I'm not going not gonna to go that way because uh, uh, it's, it's really delicate on social media. Um, but yeah, um, the Marleyans have been after the Paradi Eldians because they were told that there were monsters who were going to invade them. So they were like, let's invade them first. But now they are being told that it was all a lie. There was never going to be any invasion. There was never going to be any threat of any kind. Would you forgive them? Or not? Would you forgive them and still want them to pay? Because Eren still considers them as his enemies. I'm not okay with this. Okay, uh, I, I was thinking for a moment. I was thinking maybe I'm gonna wait and see maybe one episode, two episodes, wait a week maybe to make to make up my mind. But no. Right from maybe my mind is gonna change, but as I'm, as I just watched the episode right now, as I'm speaking right now, I'm not liking it. Um, I'm not, if you know me, the guy who is uh, necessarily for a no violence, no. Uh, no sort of that thing, you know. Uh, but I am also definitely somebody who doesn't like violence used in a very automatic way. And I believe that what Eren is bringing here is unnecessary. Because it is about revenge here, but
in my opinion, the suffering, the uh, existential crisis that Rainer is having here yeah, and confessing to, if I were Hedden, would be enough to me as a revenge, you know. Revenge is two ways. It's a way to exercise your own pain, but it's also a way to know that you get the ascendance on your enemy. And right now, Eren already had the ascendance on Reiner, and what he wants now is to exercise his own pain. But exercising your pain, in my opinion, should only come when it's not to the expense of people that you identify with. And Eren clearly identified to the people of Mighty 2. Because it was like, ah, I saw they were bad people and I saw they were good people too. And I'm like, if you think you're good people, uh, kill a liner if you want, kill the people who were against you, but don't kill the good people who were lied to too. You know, so mm, I'm gonna wait and see really what happens uh, next episode because obviously he burst out and everything but and he killed um willy tibers who i mean told the truth comes a moment i understand that you may be tired of being the nice guy and you want to be the bad guy you totally get this but it's not because i get it that it means that i agree with it <laughs> and right now i'm not agreeing with Adams endeavor really uh, but let's see how it plays out let's see who they kill let's see who they do not kill it, it may come down to this you know uh, who you spare who you do not spare but it's an interesting twist I would say I was definitely expecting you know Marley to be taking on to party I know party people came here first um, But yeah, um, uh, on the first look, I'm not really enjoying this. Um, and disclaimer, it does not come from the fact that uh, we've been introduced to the Marleyans first in this season. Because you might argue this, you know, that I am having this position because... Uh, We've been introduced to the Marleyans now. But no, that's a position that I already had in season two and season three when they wanted to try, when they wanted to kill uh, uh, Bertolt and, and, and Rhino, you know. Uh, and I'm not biased against, I'm not biased for a side or another just for the sake of something, you know. I'm just, ah, uh, yeah, they're good people. Yeah, they're, bad people uh, as a matter of fact I was right for all of you guys who in season 2 was like oh you're biased because no I'm just somebody who likes to have all the information before uh, judging or before I'm not the type of guy who who is being adamant on the lack of information you know I'm lacking information, so I'm not going to have an absolute mind. It doesn't make sense at all. And so, and turns out I was right. Uh, they were also a victim of lies. They were acting because they thought it was uh, the right thing to do. They were not here to exterminate humanity. They were here because they thought that they were here to, to exterminate the monsters. You know, just like um, the scouts were exterminating titans. They were not exterminating uh, fellow uh, aliens, victims, you know, they were exterminating monsters and we were rooting for them, you know. Uh, but it's all sad. It's just people uh, killing each other because they believe that the other one is the threat. So it's, uh, it's not because you are introduced to a character first that it means that they are necessarily right, you know. The convention may want them to be the protagonist, but it doesn't mean that they are, that the hero is always right. 
It's part of the story. You know, it's part of writing fiction. So yes, so... I didn't expect that episode to be game-changing, you know. I was expecting the sixth episode. Well, I suppose there may be a twist in the sixth episode because, like I said, season two, episode six was something. Season three, episode six was another thing. And now season four, episode six, we're going to see next time. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to this. So thank you very much, guys. If you like the action, it's available on Patreon. Link down below in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you do not miss any video and smash the like button. This is very much appreciated. Tell me down below in the comment section what you think. As you know, I'm not reading the comment section, but I'm going to be reading them as soon as I'm done with catching up to know what all of you guys have to say and everything. Um, links to my social media are down below in the description box as well as the link to the Discord server. That's something that you're interested to, to pursue the discussion over there. I'm going to fare you well. I'm going to be seeing you soon at the Please take care. Have a nice life. Bye.